decent bite of you want conge and tenons, okay? And you go through. You can perforate at this point, so be careful. What used to using Vicrol? I normally use Ethobond for traction sutures, but so you want to have it at twelve and six, so that you always know where you are. It is possible the eyes can twist. You can take off the wrong muscle. I have done it. We can hook to the superior instead of the lateral. So having these at twelve and six, you know where you are. So we always do the recession first. So in this case, she's divergent. We're doing a lateral rectus recession. So with your conjunctus, you're going to make a cut. So you want there, round the limbus, and there. Okay. So if you pick it up where you want it. Okay. So you want your radial incision to be neat and straight down onto sclera. And then... Lift up, lump to set. And you're going round the limbus. Yeah. So you want to go in and out. And then you put one in, one out. So the blade goes in. Yeah. And I'm pulling over. I'm pulling towards her nose. And that gives me a really lovely corner. Okay, so in. Pull over. And you get a really nice, neat incision. Okay, this matters to make it look nice at the end. Well, that's what the patient sees. Lovely. And then you simply do your radial down there. So now we've got the conge. Always warn your anaesthetist. The lateral is not so bad, but the medial can really give them an ocular cardiac reflex. So you can slow the heart. So we're down onto the muscle and hook straight back up. And the idea is to go down one hole and up the other. And just listen to the heartbeat when you're doing that to make sure they're okay. You will get chinons, that's normal. So you pull the chinons off. So when you've got a hooked muscle, you want bare hook, bare sclera, bare sclera. Yeah, that's what you want. But on the lateral, you've always got to do some cutting to dissect it off. So you want to pull up. Anything that goes between muscle and conge, you can cut. There will be some blood vessels. Tenons is very vascular. Mm -hmm. So if you see one, cauterize it first. But basically what you're trying to do is separate the muscle from the conjunctiva. Once you've cleared it, so you take a little hook and you're going to slide down. And sometimes you can see the oblique. There's the oblique fibers. You can see just attached to the sclera. Um, sometimes it just stops you going further. But the main thing is to make sure you haven't accidentally got the inferior oblique in this hook. Okay, so you want to slide down and make sure you're separate. So you want to take all the little blood vessels. The more cautery you do, the more hemostasis you achieve, the better it is because blood causes scarring. As we buzz all the way along the insertion, because you know you're going to take this off. This is a recession. You're going to take this off, so all these blood vessels here are going to get cut. And then you do central third full thickness. So this is where you're going down. So that gives you both your capsule but it, and the fibers within it, but it also gives you the whole muscle. You then take one, and you're gonna go either side, you're gonna do the same. So then you're gonna do the bottom third, mm -hmm. partial thickness. And when you do partial thickness suturing, you should be able to leave it at the end and it stays where it is, okay? If it doesn't stay where it is, you haven't done partial thickness. And then it's quarter of the width, so here, okay? And then you're going to go full thickness. If you wrap it around like that and pull up, that suture, sorry, that needle is pointing upwards. And it's a way of protecting your sclera because this is when you can inadvertently perforate the sclera. So you hold it quite close. You go quarter, wrap it round, pull up, and it locks it and it keeps your tip away from your sclera. Most important thing is that you have to take some full thickness bites, okay? If you don't, you'll get pseudotendons, and that's where you attach the capsule, but not the muscle, and then the muscle slides within the capsule. So actually, your effect is weakened because your muscle's somewhere back behind the insertion. So you've got to just be really conscious that you've got a sharp needle very close to the sclera, okay? And just behind the insertion is the thinnest point of the sclera. 
So at this point, you stop and you think. So what squint does she have? Yeah. She's exotropia. So what muscles do we need to do and what do we need to do to it? And have we done recession sutures? You stop and think before you cut a muscle off to make sure that it's the right muscle going in the right direction. And so you've got insertion, your muscles back there. It's important to keep your sutures the right way round, so top to top, bottom to bottom. So I've got a caliper set on eight. We're doing a hangback suture. Okay, so you hold the bottom of the insertion. If you think about the shape of the needle, okay, so you're going to put the needle down flat. You're going to push down slightly. See, I'm pushing into the sclera. So you do actually have to engage into sclera, otherwise it will simply slip. And you should be able to lift the whole eyeball up with that. Mm -hmm. So you hold it down, so flat on the sclera, push down. And then we're going to go in the middle. So this is called a double diamond, okay? So you're going to do four passes through. So same thing again, down, scoop like a spoon. And this is what we do for adjustable. She's not adjustable, but if she were, these sutures will stay where you put them. If you've just got it through one pass, then that's harder to stabilize, okay? But this is a stable situation. So that's called a double diamond because it goes up, down, up, down, okay? And then what we're doing is we're pulling on it to move the muscle where we want it. And where we want it was here. So you get your caliper and you have a look. So it needs a bit further back. So it's a little bit less. That's about seven. Thank you. So you hold your insertion. We're back a little. Back a little. And there. Okay. So we're happy. I'm going to take this. Where I'm going to go double throw forward. I'm going to take it there. So now you're going to hold this suture with your hand and cut it just in front. So now the needle has gone, so that's one needle gone, okay, and we're going to tie that down into a flat notch. Two, one, one. And then you're going to cut it for me and you're going to leave two millimeters, so you don't want it too short. So then you put a drop of antibiotic down the hole. You're going to unroll the edges, find your corners, which you created at the beginning, because you did that nice technique at the beginning, okay, and then suture them closed. So these ones are short because they're buried. But the main thing is to make sure it's conge, not tenons. If it's tenons and you don't sew the conge, you end up with nasty cysts and they don't look very nice. So if you pick up at the bottom, you can see where you are. So all of that needs to be closed. So we're going to put one in there. You want to go wide enough that you've got good exposure, mm -hmm. but not wider than you need. You're limited by your traction sutures. So we tend to go where we can. So for example, I wouldn't do a radial up there because it's under the top lid. So I'll do the radial there because I can get there sort of do about the same on the lower side. But again, going in, blunt the section, one in, one out. So when you're slinging a muscle, you've always got to be conscious of staying on the globe. So obviously you're going that way, but don't forget the eyeball is a ball, so you've got to rotate within your fingers as well. Never had surgery and it's a medial rectus. So you can hold on to this and you can use your, and your cotton bud will allow you to lump to set. So we want it nice and clean so that none of this, these connections come up towards the limbus because you don't want that. So you're going to hold that like that for me. And the idea for you is to make a rectangle. Okay, one, two, three, four. So let's have the caliper first. So this is five. So we're going to go here. 
again, partial thickness. And now we're just doing the later bits of the recession. So you don't do the middle section for resections. You just do the top and bottom bit. So the bottom third, partial thickness, then two full thickness quarters. And then again, so that's the partial thickness. And then you want to make sure the thing that people miss are the end fibers, okay? It's very easy to come out a bit early. You should be able to pull it up and have all the fibers. Mm -hmm. Otherwise they stick down in funny places and you get funny torsion effects. And your straight artery clip in front of your sutures. And it's really important to not hit your sutures in this. So hold the sutures out the way. Then you want to properly cauterize the muscle. You're going to cut this muscle right in its belly, so it's going to bleed, okay? So you have to make sure you've cauterized it. So, again, cutting. Tips facing away, yeah, so the tips are pointing at you, they're not pointing at the sutures little cuts is hold on to this and then i'm going to aim like that okay so it's a diagonal angle because i'm trying to spread this muscle so right at the top of the insertion again you're going to go onto the sclera behind the insertion push down slightly and scoop forward like a spoon vicral sticks so when you do it you do two throws take it through Okay, but don't lock it down. You're going to take this. This is the needle end here in my right hand. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull that over the pupil and pull up. And by doing so, I'm getting that up to the insertion, but I'm not locked down. Yes, and I'm, this, this is taking the tension here. And then you not take this down. Pulling it down. You want this to be tight. Lovely. and then you're going to cut that two millimeters. And again, it's the same thing. So we're going to go right this time at the top of the insertion. And again, diagonally placed. There you go, your muscle sitting exactly where you want it to be. If, it, if you put them too central, too close together, then that's when you end up with a sagging muscle. Pull up over the pupil and then tie it down. That's really important. Otherwise, you end up with it slightly hung back and then tighten it up when you're there. If it was hanging back, you could then put a one in the middle. And all you do is you take the central bit and you go top to bottom. And take the middle section. So now we've got three in. You didn't really need the middle one on that one, but that's the technique for doing it. So what you want is to find your corners. So again, you're unrolling and pulling up like that. Okay, and that's how we do it. So you want to put your conge sutures in right up to the limbus, because that's what gives you a nice, neat conjunctival closure. So your medial conge is much thicker. So that's sitting really nicely. That's, that will retract. 